Midway in the heart of the steelworks, this industrial operation is breathing life back into our state. Core Gas, supplying industrial and medical gases to those in need, saving lives one tank at a time. So we are the primary supplier to the public hospitals in New South Wales for breathing. Large volumes of oxygen also supplying blue scope steel making process. Uh, in every heat or batch of steel that we make we use roughly 13,500 normal cubic metres of oxygen which is roughly about 5,500 Olympic swimming pools full of pure gaseous oxygen. Or two main fuels that are generated in the steelworks process, so coke ovens gas and blast furnace gas. Most of that energy then um, is reused directly in the process, so various for various heating, burning things like the hot strip mill, the batteries themselves, the furnace. Uh, what's left over, we burn in our boilers and we use that to make steam and we use that steam to make both air for a number of processes and electricity. And that's all about trying to capture that energy that's a byproduct of the process and, and turn it into something useful. On a good day, we catch 99.8% of that energy. Part of that uh, recapturing of the energy and the reuse of the energy is to make compressed air for the oxygen plant. Most of the time, all of the air that, that core gas needs, we supply, and then that oxygen can be used primarily in the BOS. Based on our 24-7 operation, we need to have constant supply. To make steel, which is about half of the oxygen that we make normally. The whole process takes roughly just over 15 minutes to convert 300 tonnes of molten iron and scrap steel into liquid steel. A significant portion of the rest goes to the blast furnace uh, to improve the efficiency of the blast furnace and the rest of the oxygen is used at various processes around the plant, cutting processes, um, air enrichment processes, uh, water treatment plants and things like that. This is essentially a very big refrigerator. So we cool the air down to approximately minus 200 degrees C, which is cryogenic temperature, that's very, very cold. And once we've turned the air into a liquid, we can then separate it. The way the oxygen works is that it reduces the carbon. So molten iron is high in carbon at about four and a half percent. Whereas steel, such as used in colourbond roof sheeting, is only about 0.05%. When this happens, it's an exothermic reaction, so it generates a lot of heat. When we blow the oxygen, we blow it through a, a steel lance or pipe that's water-cooled. It is then blown at a rate of 55,000 normal cubic metres per hour, which is about this twice the speed of sound. This is sort of like bubbling when you blow through a straw into a milkshake, except the result here is that you get a nice thick foamy slag that resembles lava coming out of a volcano. The slag and the oxygen are critical to ensuring that we get the final aim chemistry. Something that we're often asked about is what the two big vessels on Five Islands Road are for. They're part of collecting the blast furnace and coke ovens gas. To give you an idea of how much gas we collect, uh, those holders only store about an hour's worth of gas for the site. But they're not really there to store a whole lot for a rainy day, uh, but they are there to keep the pressure under control um, and to make sure that the whole process operates smoothly. Other gases that the oxygen plant supply us, such as nitrogen and argon, are used to help with the mixing process. The main treatment for COVID is respiratory, uh, which is the application of oxygen, either through masks or via a ventilator in ICUs for people who are under severe hospitalisation. Uh, so oxygen is critical. 